Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we are going to be covering a heavily asked question on my channel, and that is in regards to the hidden input on my 1x2 hidden piston door or the half jeb door. So, if we come over here and take a look at it right over here, about a year ago, so last May, I made this 1x2 hidden piston door that you see right here, and so far, this has been a huge hit on my channel. Now, along with that, I have had many questions over the time since its release about how I made the hidden input. So, if you haven't seen it, all we do is place a lever right here. We flip it. That breaks the lever right there, or we can use a button just like that. That breaks the button off, and then that activates our input that allows us to go through the door. And then, of course, if you saw it, we just close this right here. That's no big deal. That closes everything right back up. And then, of course, when we're ready to come back out, we just do this, walk out, and then we use our hidden input once again to close the door right behind us. So, as I said, I am going to be covering this hidden input right here. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So, what we're going to do is take a look at the very foundation of this input. So, I am simulating this right here. We have the floor block, and then we also have our bookcase or our wall or whatever you've chosen to use for your secret entrance. So, this would be the lever right here. Now, what we're going to do is flip it. And to quickly explain what this does, this is going to power this redstone right here. And because this block is powered by the redstone, that is then going to power our piston here, causing it to extend. And then, of course, we do have a sticky piston underneath. And I don't have any wood blocks, so I'm going to go ahead and just use that for now. But you get the idea, and we can do the same with the button here. So, let's place a lever right there. We can activate that. So, you can see here the redstone, once powered, is going to power our piston, extending it up. And then, of course, since we do have a lever or button on this block here, it's immediately going to break it off, getting rid of the power source. And then it's going to retract. So, we can go ahead and do that again. So that is how that works. Now, all I did for this was wire this area up to a T flip-flop. So we can go ahead and remove this block here. And let's go ahead and dig this out so we can see what's going on. So for this, all I did was place a dropper facing up, dropper facing forward, and I did forget the hopper. So let's go ahead and quickly grab ourselves a hopper. We crouch place the hopper into the bottom dropper like so. And then crouch place your comparator running out from that dropper and then into a block, which would then run into the circuit powering our piston door. So let's go ahead and toss an item inside. So right there. And then all we do is place the redstone back on top and everything is going to be the same. So to show the output, let's go ahead and place a redstone lamp right here. And then we flip it. And probably helps if I actually use the circuit itself. So let's go ahead and do this. So we can see it's off. And that is how that circuit works. Now that I've explained how this circuit works, let's go ahead and apply this to our 1x2 piston door or the half jeb door. So this is standard what I use for the tutorial. We use the lever to open it like that just to demo it. So of course, this is a hidden build. So we do want a hidden input. So all we have to do is remove this. That's going to open up temporarily. And let's go ahead and place in our floor. So like I mentioned, let's go ahead and knock this out as well. We do want a sticky piston facing up right here with our floor block right on top. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and follow what we just did right over there. So we can go ahead and remove these blocks right here. And then what we want is our dropper facing up once again, our dropper facing forward right against that sticky piston. And then since I dropped the hopper into the other circuit there, we need to grab ourselves another one. So let's go ahead and grab that hopper, crotch place the hopper into that bottom dropper right there, comparator facing out. And then we want an item in the bottom dropper here. And as you saw earlier, we do want our redstone right there. And then for this, all we need to do is place a block right there. And then in the example, this is where I had the redstone lamp. But for the case of this door, all we do is place a redstone torch right there. 
So that redstone torch will power that block with the redstone and then cause all of our circuit to activate, closing our door like you just saw. And then that's it. All we need to do is grab our lever and we have ourselves the hidden input for our one by two piston door. And then of course, if we use the button, it works just the same. So there you have it, everyone. Hopefully this video has cleared some things up for all of you out there. Like I said, this has been one of the biggest, if not the biggest question I've had on my channel in regards to the hidden input for the half Jeff door or the one by two piston door. So like I said, hopefully this helped all of you out in clearing things up. And if you want to see the video to this, I will post a link to the half Jeff door in the description below. And there should also be a card popping up at some point during this video if it hasn't already. And of course, I will provide a link to all my other hidden builds out there, such as the 2x2 piston door or the full jib door. I also have some hidden staircases out there, uh, hidden staircase designs, a trap door design, and other hidden door designs that are on my channel. So, with that being said, everyone, this is the end of today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.